Hi guys, so for today's video I am going to be reviewing and trying the Monos Hair Collection. This was sent over to me recently by Sally Beauty. I unboxed this along with several other items in my last video. So thank you so much to Sally Beauty for sending this. So Mo is a natural hair influencer. She's like an OG natural hair influencer. She's been doing this for years. She's also a professional hairstylist and she's very, very knowledgeable and very trusted within the community. So it definitely made sense for her to um, partner with Sally Beauty and make this a line of products. I do have all the products here with the exception of one product. So I have seven products here, but there's eight products in the line. They have a another product, which is the Curl Hydrator Shampoo, and mine says coming soon, but I did check the Sally Beauty website, and it is available right now, so you guys can definitely go purchase that if you want to check it out. But um, unfortunately, I won't be able to give you guys my opinions or thoughts on that product but i will be giving you my opinions and thoughts on all the other products within the line so if i'm talking a little bit weird right now i do apologize i am sick i was actually sick in my last video but i was getting over it but i actually got sick again if you guys are parents of multiple kids then you probably know how that is when one kid gets sick you get sick and then another kid gets sick you get sick it's kind of just inevitable most of the time um, also it is New Year's Eve so if you hear that snap crackle and pop in the background that's a uh, firework so can't really do much about that people are celebrating the New Year's and I don't blame them so first off before we get into styling I just want to give you guys my thoughts on the products that I have used thus far so about two days ago I washed my hair and I don't have the shampoo but I did go in with the curl clarifier it's a scalp and curl clarifier which is this product right here and it kind of acts as a shampoo it definitely lathers up in your hair so it does cleanse your scalp just like a shampoo would but they call it a pre-shampoo treatment so it has this little nozzle you're supposed to section off your hair apply it and they they recommend to do uh, dry hair to apply it in sections and then massage it in the scalp. And then they do recommend that you go in after you use this with a curl hydrator shampoo. But again, I did not have this that product, so I just use this as my shampoo. This product, along with all the other products in the line, are highly concentrated. In the videos, Mo was stressing that these products are concentrated and a little bit goes a long way, so you don't need to use a lot. So as far as my opinion on the scalp and curl clarifier, I did really like it. I found that it cleansed my scalp really thoroughly. It left it feeling very clean, but it did not strip my hair, which is exactly what it says that it does. It says it removes pollutants and build up without stripping natural oils to reveal balanced scalp and curls. So I definitely agree. So the product definitely did what it what it claimed. Now they do have the curl co-wash and conditioner. So this product is basically a two-in-one. You can either use it as a co-wash or you can use it as a regular rinse out conditioner. Um, the first time that I washed my hair using these products, I did not use the curl uh, co-wash or conditioner. I went straight in with this right here, which is the curl restoring treatment. So this is like the deep conditioner or the mask in uh, the line. So it says that the treatment is supposed to restore elasticity to your strands for smooth to fine moisturized curls. Um, you're supposed to wash with the curl hydrator shampoo, apply this treatment in sections and detangle. So again, I did not use the curl hydrator shampoo. I just used the clarifier, but I did apply in sections and I detangled. It says that you're supposed to leave it on for seven to 10 minutes. Use with a hair steamer, dryer, or conditioning cap. So I left it on for about 10 minutes and I used a conditioning cap. So after using the clarifier and the treatment, I just wrapped my hair up, put it in a bun, put it in a cap, and went to sleep. My plan was to get up super early in the morning and film for you guys the styling portion of the video. I wanted to try the uh, leave-ins with the gel. But that didn't quite work out because I finished filming at like, I don't know, it was like 2 or 3 in the morning. So it was really, really late. So I knew, I kind of knew that I probably wouldn't because that would leave me like no sleep. So what I ended up doing is applying the next morning just some of the curl smoothing um, pudding. So the curl smoothing pudding uh, says on the front it hydrates with medium hold 
and it says this rich styler makes twist outs or any style you create smooth and defined with flexible hold and beautiful bounce so I will show you guys my results in just a moment I did come on and film uh, my first day hair once my hair was completely dry just using this curl pudding now on the back it does say that it does recommend that you go in with the curl primer first but I didn't grab that product. I just wanted to make it really simple for, you know, a quick and easy style in the morning. So I just used this pudding. But I will say that it is very, very moisturizing. This is actually my first cream only uh, wash and go. And I actually didn't have very high hopes for it because I'm someone that always in the past and currently uses a gel to style my hair so I didn't think I could just use a cream and get away with doing that but I was pleasantly surprised now I will say this does not provide quite as much definition and hold as a gel which is kind of given but if you want a wash and go that kind of gives you like that third day hair type of look where your hair is very fluffy and voluminous not super defined, but just that big wash and go, and you want it to look like that on day one, then I would definitely recommend this product. I'm not sure if it would be any different if, different if I had gone in with the um, styling potion first, like they recommend, but I will say this just by itself did give a really good result. I really liked it. It just was a different look to what I have been doing because I've been using gels. But um, I will be using it in the future, so if I do want to have like that really big fluffy wash and go on day one, I will be using this. And it also dried a lot quicker than my uh, wash and goes that I've been doing recently using gels and leave-ins. Leave it normally takes like eight hours for my hair to dry, but when I use this by itself, it cut that drying time in about half. It took about four hours for my hair to dry so really really like this stuff I'll definitely be using once again when I'm going for that bigger fluffier look and um, probably when I don't have as much time for my hair to dry I'll be reaching for this product day two was today and today I washed my hair again because I wanted to try the rest of the products so what I went in with this time to wash my hair is the co-wash so once again, this is a curl, co-wash, and conditioner. It's supposed to remove light buildup and detangle the hair. On the back, it says use this two-in-one wonder to detangle, cleanse, and condition in one step or condition curls after shampooing. So I did the first option, so I used it to detangle, cleanse, and condition in one step. So this was the only product I used um, in the shower today to wash my hair. So my thoughts on this product, I do like this co-wash. I found that it detangled my hair really good. It had decent slip, not the best slip of anything I've ever used, but it does have pretty good slip. So, so that's the products that I've used so far. So I've used the clarifier, the curl restoring treatment, the pudding, and the co-wash slash conditioner. We're going to be trying the other products the other three remaining products today on camera for my wash and go. What I do want to comment on thus far, the scent. So I know the scent was one of the most talked about things when it came to this line for some reason. Well, I know the reason. <laughs> so when I unboxed this in my, my last video for you guys, I opened uh, like two of the products, I smelled it. I personally uh, think the scent is very nice. It actually reminds me of one of my favorite candles from Bath and Body Works which is called Tiki Beach. If I didn't have that candle I don't know if I would like it as much as I do because I usually don't like perfumey things and this is a very perfumey um, scent to it. It has like a I don't know think of like a soft men's cologne but with a little more warmth in there. I smell a little bit of coconut like a very soft amount like a soft little subtle hint of coconut but just think of like a really soft sweet men's fragrance so again going back to what I said before when I initially smelled it, it smelled really good I was like hey what are people talking about it's not as overpowering and crazy as I thought it was gonna be when I washed my hair with the curl clarifier and the treatment fine I thought the same thing smells good no issues the next morning when I styled my hair with the pudding that's when I kind of was understanding what people were talking about. It was very, very overpowering. So the products all that I've tried so far all have the same scent, but I don't think they're all the same uh, intensity, if that makes sense. This was a lot more intense, the pudding, than the other products that, had, that I had tried. 
very very strong very overwhelming i also was applying it in a very enclosed space so maybe that has something to do with it it does die down like after you put in your hair your hair dries you still smell it but it's usually like only when like if you move or your hair blows in the wind then you kind of get that whiff of the fragrance and it's not as strong as when you initially apply it but when you initially apply it, yes, I agree, it's a little bit much for my liking. Oh, and the same thing goes for the co-wash. So I used the co-wash today. Again, I didn't have the problem with the clarifier or the treatment, unless my nose was just different. And you have to keep in mind, I'm also sick. So I could only imagine if I wasn't and my breathing was like on point. So I like the scent. I just think she can knock it down a few notches, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, Tara, like, I'm gonna need for you to bring it down. Three more notches, bitch, because I'm not the one. Uh, maybe a good idea would even be to create like these products in an unscented version for people that don't like fragrance. Wouldn't be a bad idea because the products themselves are pretty good, like that I've tried so far. So that's pretty much where we are right now. Once again, I'm coming to you with freshly cleansed hair. Use the co-wash and we are here. So what I'm going to be using today is the remaining three products that I have not tried. So we have the curl primer. Curl Styling Potion and the Curl Setting Gel. I will say that it is very late and my wash and goes usually take about eight hours to dry and I, I have discovered that I prefer to air dry as opposed to like diffusing right away or sitting under a hooded dryer. So I like to like air dry to about 90-95% and then go in and diffuse but we'll kind of play it by ear because otherwise I'm just going to be staying up all night until this hair is dry which I just might possibly do. So this is wet cleansed hair. So what I'm going to be starting off with is the curl primer. So like I told you guys, I watched several of the styling videos that she put out. What I like about this line is you can do several different combinations of different styling products since there are four different styling products. Just from what I've seen from the videos, she's done several different combinations, whether it be the curl primer or the pudding the curl primer uh, styling potion and the gel, the curl primer the gel, the curl primer the styling potion. You can just mix and match it several different ways just to suit your um, hair type, your needs, the look that you want to go for. So I'm going to be starting off with the curl primer which is a lightweight leave-in treatment. It's supposed to prep and prime your curls and also smooth and hydrate your hair. And the directions say you're supposed to apply it to wet hair, evenly distribute and style with the curl smoothing pudding, curl setting gel, or curl styling potion. And I'm just going to spray this on my hair without sectioning it off. She did not section it off um, for this portion in any of the styling videos that she did. So I'm just going to do that same thing. And then I'm just going to take my large tangle teaser brush and just distribute that throughout my hair. And in all of her styling videos that I saw, she applied the products, the styling products in sections. So I'm going to do the same thing. I already do that anyway. I always apply my styling products in sections. So first I'm going to be going in with the Curl Styling Potion. So this is a two-in-one leave-in plus styler with soft hold. So technically if you want it to, you don't, I'm using it as my leave-in because I'm applying the gel on top. But if you wanted a softer hold, you could just go in with the curl primer and then apply this directly after. And this will give you a uh, soft hold. I definitely don't want a soft hold. I want something that's going to last a little bit longer, especially after using that pudding that was really only like a one day wash and go for me. And then as needed, I'll go ahead and re-wet sections of my hair. I know I'm going to need it because my hair just dries so fast. It does recommend that you apply all these products on wet hair, so you definitely want to have your spray bottle handy. Curl styling potion. So the consistency does feel like a really, uh, like a lightweight leave-in. The smell is not quite as strong. I don't know if my nose is just getting, <laughs> getting more and more stuffed, stuffed up as I go, but um, the smell is not as strong. Like I said, it's the same scent throughout the products, which some of them are just a little bit more um, intense than others. So this does feel really good going through my hair. It has a nice amount of slip to it, actually. And it does feel, it feels lightweight. You just see, like, if I was to use this by itself, 
Yeah, I could see that this would just be like a soft hold if I was just to use this as my styler because it doesn't really clump the curls or anything. And I like for my um, curls to be a little bit more clumped and defined. Let me just take the brush because I'm sure. Take a brush. Let me take a brush like a Deadman or the Tangle Teaser. <coughs> Sorry. If you go in with a brush um, easier, of course, it's going to help, you know, with that curl formation and definition and clumping but it definitely would not be to my liking my liking I definitely like a little bit more hold so then we're gonna go in with the curl setting gel on top it tames frizz defines and provides medium hold fight frizz and define curls without the crunch set your wash and go or twist your strands for a beautiful shiny finish so that's how the gel comes out. It's a clear gel. It's a very, very uh, lightweight in consistency. Slime factor, slight slime factor, not too much. It's not as slimy as like the, ooh, this felt, this felt really good. I'm really liking the way that this feels going through my hair. It has a lot of slip to it. It just like glides right through and it feels really, really smooth. So after I put that gel in, I'm just going to um, distribute the product. I don't like to style with the Tangle Teaser anymore. I just don't like the look that it gives. I like my hair to just kind of do its own thing. But I do use it to distribute the product throughout my hair. And then I go back in with my hands and I kind of do like the raking motion like this. Even though I do like the way that the gel feels and the consistency, I'm feeling like it's not going to be quite enough like I'm used to something that like clumps the hair a little bit more and feels a, has a little bit more weight like a little bit heavier this is a very very lightweight gel so I'm just kind of a little bit concerned about like the hold and definition factor but we're gonna keep on going so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, pretty much fast forward through the rest and then I'll check back in with you guys once I've applied all of the product video she just kind of used some of the curl setting gel to like smooth out her edges which I can get away with that like my edges will like stay down but I don't know I kind of like my edges to be a little actually but too bad what do you think I like them to be a little bit more styled so I'm just gonna take some edge control um, this edge control was sent to me by kaleidoscope and it's called Miracle Edges. So I'm gonna be using their edge control along with their edge brush. So edges are laid. And now I'm just left to uh, figure out what I'm gonna do for the next several hours because I'm gonna to try to air dry my hair most of the way because that's how I find that I get the best results and I want to give these products the best possible opportunity to do their thing. So um, I'm going to try to air dry most of the way and then I'll probably end up going in uh, once it's mostly dry. I'm not sure how dry but mostly dry and then I'll go ahead and diffuse and then we will come back for the final result. Oh and let me do a little, a little spinny spin while it's wet just so you guys can see. So those were the wet results and we will come back once it's dry. 
Alright guys, so it is several hours later and my hair has completely, completely air dried. I tried to stay up but I did end up falling asleep. So I did sleep on my hair but I slept like very, very, very carefully. Actually my body kind of hurts from trying to like sleep in a way that wouldn't mess my hair up. So this is no diffusing, no fluffing out, no separating, no nothing. This is just air dried so I am going to be showing you guys how I do that but I do really like the hole that it gave me there is a little bit of crunch there yeah there's some crunch there but that's what I like I like it there to be some crunch because I do go in and diffuse and break up that uh, that cast on the hair and that just lets me know that my wash and go is going to last me so I actually like that and the hold I would say is like a medium firm hold it does say that the gel is a medium hold but I think I may have used a little bit more product than what they intend for you to use but I just like really like my hair to have a nice hold on it because I like to get several days out of the wash and go. My hair like I said is completely dry but I am going to go in with my diffuser just like on a warm setting just to help to give my hair a little bit more volume and help to break up the cast. So ideally you want to do that step when your hair is not 100% dry but like 90 to 95% dry would be ideal. Well for me that's what I prefer to do but my hair is all the way dry so it didn't make that much of a difference. It did, it did something to it, it just didn't voluminize it as much as if it would have been um, not all the way dry. So after I do that step what I normally do is I go in with an oil to kind of break up the gel cast in my hair. This line does not have an oil which I do wish that it had so if you guys are watching this if you do expand the line I recommend you add a hair oil and an edge control. But I do have these kaleidoscope miracle drops which is kind of like a hair oil. It's more for your scalp for hair growth but I just wanted to try them out. Um, normally I would use more like a traditional type hair oil but um, I'm just going to try these out. I am going to put a little bit in my scalp as well. And then I'm just going to put some in the palm of my hand like this. Yeah, it's not super, super oily like an oil. It does have oil, hair oils in it, but oil is not the primary ingredient. So it does have a little bit of a different feel to it. And then I'm just going to do this motion right here. And this always takes away uh, the crunch when I do this. And then lastly what I'll do is I'll take a hair pick and flip my hair over and just pick my hair out at the roots to give it a little bit more volume. And then usually after that I'll kind of go in and feel with my hands with still some of the oil left on. If there's any curls that are too clumped together then I'll go in and separate. In this case there's not really um, because like I said prior when I was styling the gel didn't clump my hair that much. So the curls are kind of more on the separated side but that's okay because it actually gives me a less work to do. So this is the finished result of my wash and go using the Mono's hair products and overall I would say this is definitely a success. I really really like the way my hair turned out. It feels really really just soft and like healthy looking and it's very very shiny as well. That's one of the things that I noticed like right off the bat. So yeah, I would say it's definitely worth checking these products out. I don't really have anything bad to say about any of the products except for the scent. I do think that it is a little bit much, like it's a little bit overwhelming. So I say if these products were scented differently or even unscented, then they would be like pretty much almost perfect. And the other thing I want to comment on is some of the people complain of flaking with the products. I personally do not have any flakes in my hair so I think it may be like application that was leading to some of those people's flaking issues. I saw her response to some comments that you know said that they had flaking and she said that she, you're supposed to use this on really really like soaking wet hair so maybe they either didn't use it on soaking wet hair or their hair or they used too much product that could also cause like build up and flaking but um, yeah I don't see any of that. So overall, I do recommend the products. Uh, if you are a little bit apprehensive about the scent, I would say just go to your local Sally Beauty Supply and go give it a give it a little sniff and see if it's um, you know something that you could uh, handle. <laughs> I would repurchase it 
because I, I do love the results, like I will go out and repurchase. The only thing that makes me a little reluctant, once again, is that scent. So, I don't know. It's almost perfect, though, besides that. So, I can't really complain too much. What do you guys think? How do you think my hair turned out? Do you like the results? And if you've tried the products yourself, what do you think of the products? So, that's pretty much all for this video. I think I said every... I feel like I'm missing something, but my brain is so foggy right now because I'm sick. I've been taking Dayquil and it's doing absolutely nothing for me. I don't really know what's up with that. But yeah, I'm going to go get some rest now. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications as well. But that's about it for this video. So until next time, I will see you guys in my next one.